Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and you're looking at the supermassive black hole in the middle of our own galaxy. This is Sagittarius A star and a recent discovery from the scientists whose paper you can find in the description below suggests that we've finally seen a little bit more about what's happening here and we we're able to take another picture of the so-called accretion disk but this time the type of a picture that we've never been able to take before. Let's talk about this and welcome to Other Math. So right here, what you're seeing is actually a model of a black hole. Uh, most black holes may look like this, but at the same time, they may look completely different. Most photos or most videos of black holes you've seen resembling something like this are usually pretty accurate uh, simulations of black holes, but are still not actual photos or not actual images. Of course, the only exception to this rule is the super famous M87 black hole, also known as Powahi, whose image we were able to take um, in the beginning of 2019. But this particular black hole was taken in what's known as radio waves. In other words, you're not really seeing what you would see in visual lights. You're also not seeing anything here in X-rays or other frequencies. You're only seeing the radio wave emissions. And this is actually something that the scientists behind this paper were also curious to discover around our own black hole, because they had a speculation. They thought that if they looked at a very specific frequency, often referred to as H30 alpha, that's um, usually one of the hydrogen lines, and this is corresponding to a frequency of approximately 239 gigahertz. So in other words, it was higher than usual radio frequencies, but a lot lower than things like X-rays or even visual light. They would discover something unusual and something we may have never seen before. And we do have quite a lot of photos or a lot of observational data of various X-ray emissions from the center of our galaxy. And in many cases, we've seen things like, for example, there's an eruption right here, or we've seen just the overall um, X-ray emissions from the area, including, of course, the miniature jet that at some point was there. Although this has never really established into a permanent jet like in other galaxies. And so our X-ray observations have always been getting better and better, even though we're still not entirely clear at what exactly is happening very close to the actual event horizon. But surprisingly, this particular study was able to discover something that other studies were not really clear on. And what it discovered was a very interesting hydrogen cloud sort of doing this, actually creating an accretion disk around the black hole at a distance of roughly 600 astronomical units in total, which is roughly around 600 times the distance of Earth from the Sun. In other words, you can technically recreate this using our own solar system. If this is our solar system, with Earth being right here and Mars being right here, this particular ring or this accretion disk would expand all the way over here. So definitely past most orbits, but not as far as the farthest part of Sedna's orbit. So Sedna still kind of beats it by a little bit that I guess is a little bit easier to see like this, um, would be approximately one-tenth of the mass of Jupiter in mass. So it's not really that massive, but it does create um, enough for us to be able to see it from where we are here on Earth. And so this is actually where it gets really interesting because they were able to take a photo of this and this is what they observed. And so this is kind of it. Now, it might not look like a lot, but here what you're looking at is the Sagittarius A star in the middle, which is the cross. And then you have a big dust cloud in red, another big dust cloud in blue, and a third big dust cloud in red again. Now, the red and blue here is really important because these represent blue shifting or red shifting. In other words, whatever's in red is moving away from us. Whatever's in blue is coming toward us. So this literally suggests that this object or this mass is spinning around the center with a cross in it. And this is actually kind of groundbreaking because this confirms sort of everything we thought about black holes, suggesting that this is kind of what we're looking at. This is probably what all of this looks like. And of course, this animation here is not far off from the actual representation. Now, the other few things we discovered about this is that the gas itself is not very hot. It's anywhere between 100 degrees to maybe about 10,000 degrees Kelvin, which is roughly equivalent to a, a typical star. But the X-ray material that's present here practically everywhere is really hot. It's about 10 million degrees Kelvin. It's about a thousand times as more on average. So in other words, this 
represents very cool, very cold type of an environment around the actual black hole, and this is formed by hydrogen, probably from some sort of a star that fell apart, or maybe even from a gas giant, or actually it could be absolutely anything. Well, at the same time, everything else around the black hole creates quite a lot of various X-ray and other really powerful radiation that makes everything else quite difficult to see. And there's a lot more of that energy and it's a lot more hot as well. And this is also very important because it kind of confirms that the central region, this halo that you see right here, is hidden from view by this unusually cool gas, by this hydrogen gas that sort of hides everything from us until we can peek through it somehow. In other words, it would be very difficult for us to try to see what's really happening in the center because of this unusually cool and omnipresent hydrogen gas that is going to prevent us from seeing other frequencies. I'm sure we'll find a way one day and I'm sure we'll actually see the black hole itself, but for now, this is a crazy discovery, it's definitely a lot of really interesting data, but also creates a new problem, seeing the black hole in the middle. Now that's all I wanted to mention in this video, that's kind of all there is to mention really. Check out the paper about the study in the description below, and subscribe if you still haven't, share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and wants to learn through science and video games, and come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe even support this channel on Patreon because it does help me quite a lot. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.